I've been laying low about this whole Carlisha situation because I had a feeling how it would transpire on the interwebs and per usual black men did not disappoint. They have been angry ever since that black woman was released from jail and her black son did not have to face any charges for taking the life of that brutal monster that decided to put hands and feet on Carlisha. I'm gonna need you to start shutting the fuck up now okay we're all over here you know all the guys over here you know the brothers you know regular black men you know straight black men regular just regular guys okay we're all gonna need you to start shutting the fuck up okay i think we heard quite enough from you okay all you do is flick shit all day okay that's all you do all right like a goddamn porch monkey you're just there sitting on your porch Flicking shit over the fence and shit, okay? We're tired of it, okay? We would like you to just start shutting the fuck up, okay? Because the majority of men were uh, upset that she ordered her son to shoot this motherfucker. And all she had to do was shut the fuck up and get her food and keep it pushing and shit, okay? The nigga that punched her in the face is what her son will become in his future, in his immediate future. I see him as a son husband. If he makes it alive out of the summer and throughout the rest of the year, okay? If no one puts a bullet in his ass, he has taken a fucking human life and shit. Right? We know that you sisters don't value our lives and shit, okay? Our mental health or anything. This is a 14-year-old kid. They killed the man, okay? He shot and killed someone, okay? You guys think this is fucking TV. This is... Real goddamn life and shit. There's consequences for that on many different levels, even spiritually and shit, okay? You know what it takes to, to kill a person and shit? Do you know what that does to you every time you pull a trigger and shit? Or whatever the fuck you do? I don't think you do. I think you just like to hear your voice and shit. I think you like to smell your own fucking farts and shit. That's what a lot of you bitches doing is huffing your own fucking flatulence and shit. And we're tired of it, okay? We're tired of it. We would like you to start shutting the fuck up. Okay? You have nothing to offer except your own contrarian opinion and shit, okay? If this 14-year-old kid gets whacked tomorrow, so he's walking around out there outside whistling Dixie or whatever, and someone drives by and pops him in the head, you won't bat an eye. You ain't gonna make no fucking video for him and shit. His mother was a shitty steward of his life, okay? He's, he's a failure because of her, okay? She couldn't govern her own passions, her own fucking emotions, and just shut the fuck up. Even the, the guy that punched her in the face, he told her, he said, please shut the fuck up. And she kept blabbing this shit because you guys have a sense of entitlement that is unparalleled and shit, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you, you know, if you motherfuckers get your way, and all the black men disappear tomorrow. Those white dudes is going to give you the, the business, okay? Everybody that's left is going to give you the business because you guys are on a crash course with the rest of society and shit to prove that you're the real niggas and shit out here. That you're the real threat. That you're the spook that sat behind the door when we've known it for hundreds of years. Okay? We've known it. Even when it went mainstream in the early 80s, with your leader, <laughs> Oprah motherfucking Winfrey and shit. She's the one that took this shit mainstream. That is her legacy. The failure of this community and shit. And being the grand marshal of that shit, okay? Alright, you don't know. You don't know shit. Alright, you don't know shit. You have nothing to offer. You're not intelligent. You're just an angry, bitter woman sitting in your fucking room. You know, bitching. Okay? Just bitching. And no one cares. I cared enough. You should be hardened that I cared enough to tell you to shut the fuck up. Alright? Carlisha should have shut the fuck up. And a man would still be alive today and shit. Why couldn't she just shut the fuck up, get her order, and go? Why couldn't she do that? She Why is she in a shady part of town, you know, with her bonnet, bonnet on? With her street gear on, a fucking bonnet, running her mouth, 
Okay, run your mouth. What if that guy had a gun or a knife and ended her fucking ass while she was up there setting up a death trap for the motherfucker, okay? For this, at, you know, this, this traumatized man, okay? He was a son husband. She got to see, before his life was extinguished, she got to see her own son's future. Do you ever think about that? Huh? Shut the fuck up. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.